good Hello I was going to say good morning but then it might not be morning you're listening So hello and welcome in um, Today's video is going to be me <laughs> The plan was to film your imagination for this one and imagine that the packets that I'm showing you are still full and that I'm not showing you empty packets because I have no willpower and um, I ate most of this hamper pretty much straight away so this actual hamper is not the one I got um, this is my own my mum actually took her basket back because she was making another hamper for someone else So this was one of my Christmas gifts um, My mum had lovingly gathered different things together um, and put them in this lovely hamper So stuff more towards the top the stuff that I haven't eaten <laughs> but I will work my way through the first thing is Charlie and Ivy's bread dipping oil Charlie and Ivy's bread dippers simply shake pour dip enjoy with crusty bread are simply drizzled over pizza, pasta, and salads. I think that's the rain you can hear. So, um, I actually had pasta tonight, but because I, because I have been saving at least some things to have unopened, um, I haven't opened these yet. But as soon as I'm finished filming this video, I'm going to open these and put them in my um, in my cupboard so we've got three we have white balsamic tarragon and white peppercorn smoked garlic and black peppercorn that sounds delightful and rosemary thyme and lemon I uh, love a good oil love 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 it so I think these I think they're just like an olive oil, but that is warm. So I'm very much looking forward to getting my mitts on that. Second one. Smoked 
bet this is delightful but I don't want to open it because once you open it it starts to go um, it starts to get soft so what I do is that when I open it I grind it completely into a separate pot and then I can just use it as a sprinkle thing I found if you open these after a while it starts to get just a little bit like soft and as you're grinding it it doesn't have that snap or crunch to grind Burren Balsamics crafted and thoughtfully infused and this is a rhubarb and ginger now I've already opened this and used it I remember having a balsamic years ago and I think it was it was either a mango I think it was a mango one it was a miniature one my brother got me oh my goodness it was delicious I love um, infused balsamics oh surprise I'm not shaking balsamic all over the place oh, I love it you know I actually really dislike that I can get away with um, but I don't I don't like vinegary foods and if a meal um, requires vinegar or like tomato ketchup I'm usually not keen on it nor do I like a salad with a vinaigrette on I'm always more of a, a fan of salads if they've either got a creamy dressing or just like an extra virgin olive Hmm, what are these things? Oh, they're the wrappers. They were Chocoholics Anonymous. And there was two. There was a smooth and creamy orange chocolate. An undeniably chunky honeycomb chocolate. I thought that said unedibly there. And I'm like, I definitely, I definitely managed to eat it. But, um... They were dairy-free, dairy-free ones. I like the orange chocolate, this was alright. The honeycomb, I got a weird kind of. I like honeycomb. Oh yeah, there was honeycomb. I don't think the wrapper's in here. She also got me some honeycomb. And it had gone a bit soft, but it made it even nicer. So rather than like really snappy and crunchy, it was kind of like soft and gooey. So sugary, Christian couldn't eat it. It was great, it was more for me. But um, yeah, that just reminded me. Um, so I actually prefer the orange. I love mint chocolate and orange chocolate. I'm not the biggest chocolate fan. I prefer um, licorice or like if I was to eat chocolate, I'm more of a white chocolate. And Terry's white orange chocolate Easter eggs, the mini eggs, are an absolute delight. And of course, we're going to start getting those in the shop soon if they're not already. But they went down really well. Next thing, I do have them left. And if you're wondering, where do I find random things like this? Go in TK Maxx if you have a TK Maxx. I only discovered this like two weeks ago. <laughs> Go in TK Maxx, a big one, or a one that's got a good food section. It's got the most random foods ever. So I think this is where my mum got some of these. This is the Honeyberry, and they're Scottish freeze dried honey berries. They're flipping delicious. Um, I either have these as just like a little snack just to pick on or put them on my breakfast. Honeyberries are a naturally existing member of the edible honeysuckle family. They have been cherished, cherished in Japan for decades where they are known as the berry of longevity due to their exceptional nutritional benefits. 
they're lovely so you can it just is perfect for snacking add it to baking and desserts mix into porridge and cereals or add to ice cream and yogurts if people don't like eating sounds warning i'm going to be eating there's not many left so this is what they look like They're very tired. Mm. They're really nice. They're not as um crispy and freeze dried as they were when I opened them. But they've been open a good few good few weeks and They've been in my pantry where I've been cooking a lot of things that have been causing um, steam and condensation. Now I've just been to check to see if I've got any in my teeth. All in my teeth. Everywhere. Like, you know when you have hot chocolate and you end up with this like ring of chocolate around the inside of your lip? Like fully purple. So the next thing, and I had quite a few things from this company. This is um, a northeast company. So if you're from the northeast, you probably have heard of Rinkton's. Rinkton's. When I was growing up, they and you know what the thing is, they still do this. I think I've spoken about Rinkton's before. So on the front of the packet, they have a wholesome card. And that's how they originally used to come around. They would come around your house um, with biscuits and teas and coffees and things in a wholesome cart. Still to this day, they come not in a wholesome cart, but they come in a van. And they have a basket, a wicker basket. And they sling it over their arm and it's full of biscuits and teas. And I love it. It's just, it's kept, it's like it's history and not only that ringdon's is flipping delicious so these ones were white chocolate and lemon cookies empty as you can see very nice my favorite things from ringdon's one of them is in here so one of my favorites is hand-picked ginger snaps i love them they're so big and they just taste incredible. I'm a big ginger fan. I love anything uh, gingery. Just, I will eat pure stem ginger, like crystallized stem ginger. I've got it downstairs. And I take a bite and then have like a couple of pecans with it. Love it. So yeah, I got some um, ginger snaps. And one of my other favourite things from Ringtons is, um, it's a Brazil nut. I think it's chocolate. And Brazil nut cookies. Oh my goodness. Like, whenever I see the Rankton's man, if I'm out on a dog walk, I like, because I can pay on my phone. So I just whip my phone out of my pocket and I'm like, got the back of this van. I'm like, you got those Brazil nut cookies. And he gets them out and I'm like, just tap my phone on this little machine, put them in my pockets and walk home. It feels probably dodgy. It feels like I've snuck out to meet my uh, biscuit dealer. Um, another Rington thing, milk chocolate caramel wafers. So these, and I do have the other ones, very like tonics, very, very similar to tonics actually. Let me get them out. So, um, milk chocolate mallows, soft marshmallow, and a delicious biscuit base covered in milk chocolate. So I got them. Because they, they've been eaten. I mean, well, quite frankly, if they hadn't been eaten, there'd be something wrong with me. Then, because they're popping out. These were... Yeah, I should have done this before I'd eaten them, but I was just so busy. These are... Um, there was tiramisu, which was okay. 
I'm not the biggest fan of coffee flavoured things. I like coffee if it's like a really creamy latte. I enjoy it. Um, but I'm not the biggest coffee fan, to be honest. I think I just like the, the milky taste with a bit of coffee rather than the other way around. Um, Christian really enjoys these because he's a, a big coffee fan. And the uh, lemon ones. I love them. They were so creamy and oh, had a little bit of tang from the lemon. They went probably in like an hour. I tried my very best not to eat them all in one go. I failed. But they are from, where are they from? Product of Italy. Gluten free. Man Mandol. I think that's by a company called uh, Mandol. Oh. nailed that. I'm trying to see whether... There's just so many different words on here. You know what? I'll find out because I don't know if Mandol is like a different language for maiden. <laughs> anyway, I'll do my best to find out what brand these are. I think they are Q or Renero. balsamic but this is a glaze so you can get balsamic vinegar which is just like a really it's like a wet vinegar and a glaze is a lot more goopy and sticky and lovely I haven't opened this one yet because I'm just working my way through one one of them my mum got me and then the other two things my brother got me it wasn't in the hamper but I brought them up anyway the first thing is honey I am a humongous honey fan honey and ginger are my two biggest loves in life, food-wise. I'm not saying I love honey and ginger more than people. They come close, but food-wise, my two biggest thing, honey, ginger, and then licorice. And in Durham, there is a guy who has a lot of hives. Um, and I've been having his honey for years. Absolutely. I think I first got his honey, was it about 19 years ago? But this is a black hole honey. Um, Bob Wade. And it's granulated honey. All pure honey will granulate. In fact, this change is the best proof of its quality. It can easily be restored to the liquid state by either of the methods. Loosen up the tops and then the jar not water. Um, remove the metal cap, place it in the microwave. That's what I've been doing with this other one. And this, this is borage honey. Now borage honey is my favourite. Um, it's when the bees go to the borage plant, but I've been struggling to get it because not many places are growing borage. So I've been having just like wildflower honey or lavender honey. But this, I've had a couple of batches of borage and I love it. It's really, it's really um, mild, really gentle, almost like a creamy taste. I adore it. It's sealed. So once I finish off this other honey, this will get open probably in the next couple of days to be honest. But I just think if I open it now, I'll end up doing something stupid like dropping it on the floor and spilling my precious liquid gold. The other two things, this is the honey. So this is black bee honey, orchard honey. Um, and where did my brother get this from? I'm not sure. 100% British honey. Black Bee Honey Company, produced in the UK, I'm not sure, although he did just send me a picture of a jar of honey that he got from his yoga instructor, and like the artwork on the front looks like hand-drawn, I'm so excited to try it. This. Oh, so 
so good so there's barely any left like I've been putting in the microwave every morning and it's fine to do like you can put it in the microwave warm it up pour it on put it back on the shelf and then do the same the next day it doesn't it doesn't alter it at all the quality sticking my finger in, I'm the only one who eats it. It's only going to be me putting this on my breakfast tomorrow. Absolutely delightful. But another thing that came close to being... Actually, it's probably better. The next thing I'm going to show you is probably better than that. I've never had this brand before. Another empty bottle. And this is... Gimba. G-I-M-B-E-R. And this was um, Gimba, the alcohol-free drink with a kick. So basically this is ginger concentrate and it's got lemon herbs and spices in. And I think this is for, it's almost in like a, you know, like if you had a little bit of whiskey. It's got that shape. free and what I've been doing is I probably it says 30 ml of ginger per 200 ml of sparkling water I think I've been a bit generous because I like it really spicy I love my ginger um, but yeah it's just like diluted juice you pour it in pour your water on top and I've been putting in um, just normal sparkling water absolutely delicious it says eight servings. I don't think I got eight. I think I probably got six to seven because I was overly generous. Um, and it's 38% ginger, cane sugar, lemon, water, spices. Also delicious with hot water in mocktails and cocktails or in recipes. This stuff, I would 100% guess it. Get this again. It's just... Oh, it was so good. I drank this very, very quickly. I do like, one of my favourite things is ginger beer, but it's incredibly sugary. I don't have it very often, um, and this was kind of like my own little, obviously it's got sugar in, but it was my own little treat. So yeah, this was Gimba. Would definitely, definitely buy this again. To be honest, everything in this basket, in this hamper, I absolutely loved. My brother and my mum know me incredibly well and uh, I can't wait to work my way through everything. I mean, to be honest, what have I got there? To work my way through some balsamic vinegars, oils and a grinder because quite frankly, I've already worked my way through everything else. I've already eaten everything so I don't know what I'm on about. So yeah, like if I remove the empty packets, it's just these things here is what is left to uh, to consume. But this was what was in my hamper for Christmas, and I love it. Uh, my brother also got me for my birthday. He sent me some lovely pasta balls up because I wanted some nice pasta balls and um, some really good Italian pasta. And then at Christmas he brought me a good chunk of guanciale because I've been trying to make um, carbonara as authentically as possible. And I've been using either pancetta or like really fatty streaky bacon. The bacon I found is actually better. Like I get the streaky bacon. I don't usually get the streaky bacon, but I get the streaky bacon. And I render all the fat out of it. Um, and I found that has been way better getting the fat out and cooking with the fat then, the pancetta. Anyway, this was my, <laughs> this was my hamper, is my hamper. I'm terribly sorry that I couldn't open the biscuits and try them on camera. Um, I'm an absolute glutton when it comes to, you know, I don't need to explain myself. 
put some biscuits in front of me and they're gone. I've had two packets of cookies up on the top of my shelf, ready to film Biscuits of Britain, and uh, I've ended up eating them <laughs> before I've got round to filming. So, you know, it's just who I am. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm actually looking forward to now putting the rubbish in the bin and sticking the cardboard in recycling because I've had it on my table since Christmas day. I've been saving these piles of empty biscuit wrappers since Christmas day and I think I will film it.